I came to San Francisco to learn about what's going on in retail, F&B, tourism. I thought the only way to truly do it was by coming here to one of the, certainly the city's biggest tourist destination, which is Pier 39. I overdressed for this, definitely. We're the, we're the two uh, snazziest looking people at Pier 39 today. Indeed, I think this is a bit formal. <laughs> this is Trisha's San Francisco Mini Donuts, apparently a local institution. Have you had these before? I have not. Mmm, good God. Tell me a little bit about what retail sales are doing right now within the city of San Francisco. If you go to 2019 numbers, we're up around $500 million in taxable sales, all in the neighborhoods, just not in the downtown. So otherwise, the neighborhoods are doing quite vibrant and resilient. It's just simply because we're not getting that workforce in downtown that we're having some struggles there. But we're, we're very buoyant on the other side. So if you go to the marina, Hayes Valley, things are hopping. There she is. Oh. Hey, Hi. Kate. Hey. <laughs> Before in 2019, Fisherman's Wharf, this area, including Ghirardelli Square, accounted for about 30% of all of our domestic foot traffic here in San Francisco. Since then, we've seen kind of a spread out to our neighborhoods and out to uh, Golden Gate Park. But this year, we're starting to see a migration back back to Fisherman's Wharf, back to the CBD area, back to Garadelli Square. Those numbers are now about 25% of our total foot traffic as of the summer of this year. Sea lions actually didn't start coming to Pier 39 until right after Loma Prieta earthquake in 1989, the big one. They took over these docks. These were initially built for boats and they basically just started migrating here. And the city decided that instead of trying to move the sea lions, it was safer to move the boats and just let the sea lions have fun out here on the on the docks. One of the things that I've read about in the news is the crime issue in San Francisco. Yeah, I mean, the data suggests something very different than what you're hearing in the news. If you look at from the most, most populous cities and you do it by the most dangerous to the least dangerous, of the 36 most populous cities, we'd be 29th on that list. That's uh, safer than places like Houston. Charlotte, you to Seattle. So much more safe than you would think by just the news you're reading about. I've heard that tech is the biggest employer in San Francisco, is that true? It is not true. In fact, tourism by employment number is more important to the city of San Francisco than tech. It's the largest part of our economy. So what we're in right now is actually the beating heartbeat of the San Francisco economy. Indeed it is, and it's been that way for over 100 years. Initially, it was a fundraiser for San Francisco General Hospital. Um, all these hearts, you'll see them all around the city, and they're each painted by different local artists. So what are the statistics around the international tourists mm -hmm. coming back to the city? We've actually seen about 70% increase in deployments alone from this year versus last year, um, which is the biggest jump that we've seen ever um, in a, that short of a period of time. Is there a forecast for when international tourist numbers fully recover to like pre-pandemic levels? Yeah, the San Francisco Travel Association is expecting a full recovery by 2025. Uh, that's in terms of total visitors, but spending is actually expected to recover uh, next year. So hot tip, if you want to come to San Francisco before all the tourists have completely returned, you've got, you've got to come before 2025. Yeah. So you got like a year, right? Yeah, book your tickets now. Thank you so much for joining me today. I learned so much about tourism and I got to drag you along into some silly rides and eat some junk food. You are welcome back anytime. We'll do the Crooked Shriek at Lombard. We'll take the bridge and maybe we'll go to the wine country. Oh, I love it. Cheers. Right, cheers. <laughs> <All right. laughs>